Hi everyone, Gina Craft, um, facilitator of technology integration and coaching. Um, and I wanted to help you set up your grade book. So this is going to be a crucial, crucial, crucial step um, in the long term progress of Schoology syncing with Skyward. So this is going to be like the foundation of making sure that everything works like it's supposed to so that when you're putting something in Schoology, it's going to go over to Skyward for you pretty seamlessly. And so hopefully we'll have like minimal issues with it. Um, so this step is like the most important step of the entire year, getting this set up properly and just making sure that you're going to have everything that you need. So um, in order to do this, you're going to get into one of your Schoology courses. So just a reminder, once you sign in, you're going to go into the top green bar, go to courses, and then you're going to find a course, and then you're going to click on that course. Um, I already have a course up here that I'm going to kind of set up this gray book for. So you're going to go down to Skyward. Now you should see this little app on the left-hand side that says Skyward, and you're going to click on that. This is going to take you to the configuration page. So this is going to be where A, you're going to set up your categories, but B, you're also going to be able to see a log of where you may have had issues um, throughout the school year. If you're like, oh, things aren't going over to Skyward, what's going on here? This is going to show you that. So these categories are really important. This is what shows Skyward what something is. So you have to have a category in order for it to go over to Skyward into your gradebook. So if you put something in your gradebook and you don't give it a category, Skyward doesn't know what to do with it. So it just rejects it and it says, nope, this isn't coming over here. So that's why it's really important to make these categories now so that you have them set up. So we're going to go over here to configuration. And you can see that there are lots and lots and lots of categories. You can see it already has like um, denoted some that it just kind of does just by default and you may like some of these you may not like some of these um, but it's really easy to be able to get rid of them if you don't want something like workbook you just click this X testing quizzes any of these that by default it's given you you can just click on the X to get rid of it and this will give you a clean slate to work with just gonna get rid of all of these so that I have Nothing here that I do not need. Okay, and I can see that these are the Skyward categories. These are the only categories that Skyward will accept. So if there's something here that you don't have that you want, you're gonna have to kind of figure out in your head how you're gonna code that for it to work because this is it. So um, if it's not assigned to one of these categories, it will not go over to Skyward. So it's really important that you kind of have that in mind whenever you're thinking of what categories you want so that you can put those in um, and then know how you're going to be assigning different things. So I'm going to start off with assessment. I think that's a category that I would use frequently. And then I'm going to, I clicked on that and it says Schoology course category. I'm going to just put create new Schoology category. I also like classwork. So I'm going to hit include category. And then I'm going to hit create new Schoology category. And then I also like participation. So I'm going to include that category and hit create new Schoology category. Now, in order for this to save, you are gonna have to scroll down to the bottom and hit save configuration. So this says now your category configurations have been saved. And as I scroll down, I can see assessment was saved. I can see classwork was saved and I can see participation was saved. And if I even go a step further, if I go over here into the left-hand side, if I go into grade setup, I can see now that those categories are right there. That's where they are listed. If you want to weight those categories, so certain uh, categories weigh more than the others, you could change those here. Um, if you don't want to weight your categories, you can just unclick that and then they won't be weighted. Now I'm going to go back into the Skyward app on the left hand side because we set up the configuration, but the sync status right here is where we're going to be able to see grades. Once school starts, this is where all of those different categories are going to come into play. That's where all of the things that you're putting into your gradebook are going to come right here. And you're going to be able to see if something synced over if it didn't. It's going to come up with an error if something did not sync correctly. You can even go over here to this live sync. And that's going to give you, you can see, it's going to give you the assignment, um, 
what it what type it was, like the um, category, and it's even going to give you the date and the status. So it's either going to say it successfully synced or if there was an error that will pop up here too. I'm going to go back over to sync status. And something that we have found over the last two years that's helped with this, um, if you have grades that are not quite being pushed over to Skyward, if you click the Sync Changes button, that's going to automatically start to push things over. Now, this isn't always automatic. Sometimes it takes a couple hours for things to get over, um, but that will start the process. So when you go into your gradebook, now that you have those categories, when you go to set up an assignment, those categories will be there. And remember, these are the same categories that we're going to have in Skyward. So whenever you put those into Schoology, Skyward is going to recognize that and it's going to shoot it over and then it's going to be able to appear in your Skyward gradebook. You are going to need to set up your gradebook for each course. So I did this for one course, but we know that you have multiple courses. You have a math course, you might have a science course, you might have a social studies course. So for each course that you have that's synced from Skyward, you will have to do this exact process. So you'll have to go into your course, you're gonna have to go down to the Skyward button, and you're gonna have to hit up that um, configuration. You'll go over to that configuration tab, you're going to select your categories, and remember you have to hit at the bottom, save configuration. That's going to be really important to ensure that those categories are saved. Now we will have some more troubleshooting um, tips and different things like that as we move forward. I know that this is a new process and it's exciting and we're going to have great books that are going to sync over and of course we're going to you know probably run into some roadblocks but um, this is going to be really foundational and, and helping ensure that we have minimal roadblocks and so taking your time and making sure you have this set up is definitely the way to go. So um, reach out to your building ed techs if you have any issues but you know that we're here for you and we're excited for the school year.